Hi, it's Grace, and you might not have noticed, or you might have, because there's a different background. I've moved, and everything's really chaotic, but it's amazing. Um, I also got a new camera, so I'm trying to figure that out, uh, not very successfully. So if this looks really weird, just know that maybe the next one's going to look better. I don't know. Um, I'll, this is the camera I got. Uh, I'll find my phone and take some footage of it for you. Um, and this is my office filming room and I'll show you that, but I'll wait and show you the rest of the house um, in another video when everything looks a lot nicer. Um, I will show you a little sneak peek um, of like some of the footage we got of the house before we started moving stuff in. Um, it looks amazing and I really regret putting my stuff in it. It was so much nicer before. It was clean and now it just looks like a tornado has been through it. Um, oh, and welcome to the nightmare that is my freaking garage. Like, I'm going to show you a picture of that. It's haunting my every waking moment. I can't wait to put everything away. Uh, but I'm ordering more furniture so I can put things away and um, I got a new bed, which is amazing. It's huge. Um, so there's enough room for me, my partner and the cat, most importantly. And we can all spread out and not have to touch. It's so good. Um, okay, I'll show you all that in a different video. Today we are here because I bought some makeup while I was shopping. It was on sale. If I can find the receipt. I've wanted one of these for ages. Um, I didn't really mind what brand it was, but this one is Emco Beauty, actually, as is the other stuff I'm trying today. But this is a Love Heart Cheek Stamp, and I don't know if it's going to be any good, but it always looks so cute, and I want to try it. So there's that. Uh, you want how much was the on sale for? Dun, dun, dun. Love Heart Cheek, cheek Stamp, $7.50. This is from my local Woolworths. Uh, Ultra Curl Mascara, uh, mascara, six dollars and eighty cents. And I've needed a new brow pencil for a while, so I haven't used one of these before. Um, it's, a, oh my gosh, like a felt tip pen, pen texture. Oh my gosh, it's been a lot. My brain's all mushy, but I really just wanted to sit down and put some makeup on and just have a chat because there's been so much going on um anyway eyebrow stuff um and that was five dollars sixty so my local woolies had some good makeup specials and i'm gonna try that out and it wouldn't be this channel without some snacks so i also have hazel sticks by frey number one in switzerland hazelnut milk chocolate bar and oh <laughs> same brand in mint Mint flavored dark chocolate bar with hazelnut cream filling. Sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, where am I starting? Face. Okay, so I have uh, brushed my hair, kind of. I can't find my hair oil, I'm so sad. My ends are looking really bad. Uh, but that's okay. You can't see them in this frame. Awesome. So what did I say? I have moisturizer on and what am I doing? Eyes? Maybe I should put some eyes on. I can't find, uh, my medium sized mirror, so I only have a tiny one. So can you see weird stuff in the background? Oh, oh, you can see Fox. Amber Dollhouse. Oh, can you see you? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, you can see how disgusting that mirror is. Awesome! All right, eye stuff. So we got handed the keys. Can I count? I don't think I can. I don't even know what date it was. I just know it was not last Wednesday, the Wednesday before, and today is Friday. How long does that make it? 10 days? I have no idea. Uh, but it's been a lot to get used to. The weirdest thing has been, um, <laughs> it sounds so strange. I've not had a nightlight since I was a little kid. But I have a nightlight in this house, and when I wake up in the middle of the night in a different place to where I am, <laughs> where I have been like nearly every single night for the last 10 years, I know what's up. It's been confusing, um, but so cool. <laughs> we have lost the cat too many times to count. Uh, last night was a good one. We thought we'd checked all the windows because it was afternoon sun. She loves sitting in the sun. 
uh, and we couldn't find her anywhere and we've had the doors open and the garage open and stuff we're like oh no we've tried to be so careful so scared of losing her in a new spot at least the old neighbors knew who she was and like if she ever wandered out they let us know um she was in the bedroom window like tucked up behind the curtain just chilling she was happy and of course cats just never ever come when they're called or make any kind of noise so that was real fun but uh, I tried to put a collar on her for a few days, but she's such a teeny kitty and such a, like even small collars are big on her. So she was just uncomfortable. So I just have to play hide and seek, I guess. It's kind of fun. All right, I'm using this on my eyes. I don't care what anyone thinks about Jeffree Star. Uh, his packaging is amazing. And I love these shadows. I love purple, evidently. And this is just amazing. Um, and I have, got a new vanity kind of setup going on which again I'll show you in when my house looks awesome video um and it looks really nice to be over there so anyway what are we going to use does anyone care what any of the names are called anymore oh I have brushes um oh yeah I've got this has a giant mirror that I haven't taken the sticker off yet oh yes no I missed it <laughs> Okay, now I have a good mirror. Um, okay, so we're going for purple. Oh, I've got a sticky base somewhere. There he is. Bit of that. When I first got this palette, I didn't know how to work uh, some of the colors, like the metallic one, but uh, with the sticky base and putting it on with your finger, it's so beautiful. So we'll start with that because it just has to be everywhere. Yeah, oh, uh, makes me so happy. All right, with a bit of Blood Queen on the outside. I'm gonna try and keep it to the crease today, but uh, sometimes my blending gets a little bit all over the place and I end up with, you know, dark purple all the way to my eyebrows, but that's fine. Try not to do it today, because I just don't have the time for that. I mean, I do, but I really should be unpacking. I have been trying to unpack this room. I finally moved the furniture to where it needs to be. Um, so I've got the purple and black bookshelf like over that side and it's got lots of pop vinyls and stuff that you can see now. Um, and some amazing figures. Oh, I will show you. I have just, they've been in boxes for so long that I miss them and they look wonderful out. Um, I finally got my dollhouse with some um, figurines in it and like a little kitchen set up with tiny foods. It makes me so happy. I really need to put stuff on the walls. Well, I guess I don't need to, but I really want to. My partner's like, oh, I don't want to put stuff on the walls. I don't want holes in the walls yet. I'm not ready. And like, I fully understand, but I need stuff on the walls. I have piled stuff up pretty high on that bookshelf, so maybe not up there, but. I'm definitely going to need some kind of organizer um, above my computer and we've got lots of framed uh, art work and stuff we've had done over the years and we've just kept it in storage so uh, that needs to go out really badly. I've got, oh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you like how still are. Um, it's really big from the Ghibli Museum. It's like a like, colourful map of the museum, like the layout. It's just so cool and we got it like five years ago and had it framed and it's just been sitting there. Um, it needs a big wall to go on but I was thinking maybe in the hallway like so you walk past it and it doesn't get too much sun so it doesn't fade or anything. Um, I don't know it's hard to know where to put things but it's just gonna happen really soon. Uh, where was I? Eyeshadow. Poorly applied eyeshadow. Don't you hate it when like one side looks good and the other side just, I can never get these things to line up properly. It possibly doesn't help that this eye doesn't see very well on its own. Uh, and there's just not much I can do about that apparently. <laughs> Wear your glasses as a kid. Don't throw them in the bin like I did. Uh, because you just can't fix that later on in life, apparently. I have to go back to the optometrist one day and uh, they'll test it again, but they're pretty sure glasses will not help that eye. 
all right that's just gonna be enough uh now i need to put a bit of light on <sighs> look the only thing i think this palette's missing is a really nice like uh white frost um it's got like <clears throat> beauty sleeves nice but it's got a little bit too much color it's nice sort of there ish but, like it's just not sparkly enough for me <sighs> and i didn't bring anything else with me and i'm just too lazy to move so what are we gonna do okay we'll go wet jewel in the corner which is like pink sparkly all right and some beauty sleep and wet jewel all up in there there's the issue of the closet it is big but i just i haven't thought of a really good way to organize it yet so fingers crossed i can have some kind of revelation and uh like it's big enough that i probably could be messy but i'd really like to organize it well i really want everything hanging so i can see everything uh, but then I've got a million bags and I don't know how to organise those things properly. Uh, there's just too many. But I'm not getting rid of any. I tried and every time I try I go no. I just don't want to. And I don't. I just need to display them better. Ooh, actually I've got another bookshelf coming in here. Maybe I can put some pretty bags on it too. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Okay. That might have helped some of my situation. Um, it's, you know, a little room and it's got hanging stuff like on three of the bits. And so it's got a shelf like up top that you can put stuff. Um, so I'm gonna have to put some drawers and stuff for underwear um, and shoes. I really haven't quite figured out shoes. I have shoe racks from the old house, but I don't know like, really don't know if I want to keep using them or um, if it's time to donate them and see what I can find like secondhand. Um, I've had one of those shelves for a million years. Um, my dad and stepmom bought it for me because I used to have a tiny kitchen and nowhere to put anything and that was awesome and then it's since been used for like 10 million other things. It's really handy. I guess it's only in the closet. No one's gonna see it. Um, and then I had another um, she rack I got for nothing. I don't think I paid anything for it. It's like painted black wood. Um, so shoes sit at the angle. For years, for years, I have been using that thing the wrong way. Um, I had my shoes sitting like that in it and kept wondering why they fell down. And then like one day put a shoe on the wrong way and went, oh, that sits much better. I'm such an idiot. I've been struggling with that for like five years. Anyway, not the point. I should blend this. It probably looks amazing. All right, that's done enough. So this, yay. Oh, sweetie, love heart cheek stamp. Oh my gosh, there's so much information on the back. Uh, this innovative cushion blush with a heart shaped applicator delivers a perfect amount of pink blush that blends out to a sheer to buildable flush of color. Why do I need it? Heart shaped cushion blush. That's just a reason you need it. Buildable sheer coverage, easy to apply and blend while wearing formula. How do I use it? Apply the blush by stamping the heart cushion to the cheek. Use fingers or brush to blend color. Ensure the compact is closed securely after use. All right. Come out, come out. Yay. Stamp up. Yeah. Oh, cute. All right. Uh, and... Oh, sealed for my protection. Come on. Oh no, I just pushed it down. It wasn't down. Okay. Yeah, that's a good noise. That's probably a little bit pinker than I'd normally wear. I thought maybe it'd be closer to the outside, but to me that looks a lot pinker. You probably don't need to do it that much, or maybe you do. It doesn't look like it's quite covered. Okay. Whoop. Oh. That looks a different colour again. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, what are you supposed to do? You just... Does that mean that that gets dirty? You're supposed to clean it all the time. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's not annoying at all. All right. I guess I could use my finger. Can you notice anything? Maybe I should just stamp some more. Can you see much? I'm really close and I don't think I can see anything. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a good time. I mean, it's not bad. And I'll probably do that just to use it and then maybe put other blush over the top if that counts. Uh, and this whole, that's just dirty now. And that's going to live its life being dirty. Do you go back in? Oh, it might help if I uh, put it in the right side. Never know. Okay, yeah. Like, I wonder if you have to wash that after every use. Probably. But I'm not going to. Okay, snack time. Hazelnut milk chocolate bar. Oop. Slightly suspicious looking. Smells like hazelnut chocolate. That's promising. Ooh. I thought it was going to be hard. That's really soft. Yum. That tastes like a bit firmer Nutella um, with a few hazelnuts through the outside chocolate. Um, I would highly recommend that. And I would like to know if you could freeze that and then deep fry it. I think I might have to try that. Um, should I? Oh, no. I'll do some more makeup and then I'll do that. Eyebrows, maybe? This is in blonde. And I'm not really blonde, uh, but I didn't want to go too dark. Okay. Felt tip. Long felt tip. What do you do? Oh, it's very, very light. Can you even see that? No, we can when I do that. All right, promising. I'm not very good at this. Um, I usually use like more of a powder or a pencil so you don't have to be so precise. So this might look a little crazy, but I'm willing to give it a go. I might have hidden artistic skills that I did not know about. Ooh, actually that's really good for filling in holly patches, of which I have a few. I really need to tint my eyebrows again. All these are like really light and it's, oh, it just makes them such a weird shape. When I dye them, like it's a little bit too dark, which I start off with and then it fades and looks really good for like 10 days and then it grows light again. But it looks so good when all these blonde hairs are not blonde anymore. Ah, oh, and that's my other problem. This one naturally like goes higher than that one. That one's like a bit flatter. And so this one will look fantastic and I will struggle to make this one look like that one because I have put too much of an arch in it. Oh dear. Oh no. What do you do if you're, oh, oh no, it comes off pretty easy. I put like one really big stroke in there and it looked awful. Can you see what I'm actually doing? Probably not. It's probably not that interesting from far away. I don't know if it's any more interesting close up. There we go. Uh, that tail does not look good. Alright, I'll see if I can match the other one up. I like it. I have nothing to complain about. That seems really good. Wow. Okay, I've been missing out not trying some of these. I really like it. Alright, what else can I do? Uh, okay, probably my lower lash line might help. Little bit of Blood Queen and probably just Beauty Sleep. Oh, maybe a bit too much there. Oh, when I do that, I could probably fill them in a little bit more, like in there. Let me try that. Okay, that might have been a step too far. Now there's a little bit too much going on. It really needs. No, it probably doesn't need a spoolie on the end. I probably just need to move my butt and grab one. Not too bad. Um, I have a chicken pox scar in my eyebrow that always annoys me. And that really helps cover it up. Um, and fun fact, I didn't get chicken pox until I was... I believe I was 18. I was, you know, 
nearly an adult when I got it and I was living out of home um, and my boyfriend at the time rang up and said, oh no, one of my friends has chicken pox and my family doesn't remember me having chicken pox. I remember my other family like getting it, but not me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's awful. I hope you don't get it. He did not. Apparently he is just a carrier and I got it. And I was so sad. It was the middle of summer. It was like 40 degrees and my friends were going swimming like down the creek and they're like, yeah, you're not coming. You're gross. Great. That's fantastic. It would be really nice to be really cold right now. So instead I had a bath in something called pine tar sole that is bright yellow and looks like you had lots of vitamin B and peed in the bath. It was a miserable couple of weeks, but it was kind of funny in hindsight. I was like so worried going, oh no, I hope you don't get it. Did not think for a moment that I could have got it. So I got up one morning, went to have a shower before work, and I was just covered in dots and went, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I should go to the doctor. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyway, completely off track. I can't remember what I was doing now. Um, what did we miss? I have no idea. I don't really feel like powdering. Maybe I should a little bit under the eyes. Uh, again, I don't care what you think about Jeffree Star. This is freaking amazing powder. Um, I don't really have a lot of experience with powders, but I really like it for the packaging. It is freaking beautiful and it smells delightful. <sighs> like cotton candy. And I really appreciate that. So, I mean, to me, uh, it's a good product, so that's good, but uh, it just looks and smells fantastic. And honestly, I that's just as important. Like, I don't know, it could be really, really average powder. It's not, but it could be like a drugstore powder. And I would really, really love it to smell like candy and just be this shiny and amazing and look good sitting around. So, you know, packaging works on me. I'm going to be unpacking boxes today, so... It's just me looking amazing to unpack. But that's okay. I need a little bit of motivation. I'm honestly pretty over this whole thing. Uh, we thought we were going to start building earlier on in the year, just before coronavirus hit Australia really hard. Uh, so that got put on hold, but I had already started packing because, um, you know, I have a couple difficulties. So I have to make sure I plan stuff very well. <laughs> Uh, and I knew it was going to take me a long time to pack and clean. So I thought I'll give myself, you know, six months to do it. And I'm glad I did. Honestly, I needed it. Uh, but in that time, <laughs> we stopped building. And then we started again. So it was all right. All my efforts were for not in vain. But that just means that I have been packing and cleaning like this entire year. And I'm a little over it. Um, so this unpacking thing is just going to be really slow and um, look, it's getting there. It's getting there. Like, I think the lounge room's all right. I've got to put a coffee table there. Um, we need a dining setting. Uh, the kitchen's pretty good apart from like the dishwasher sitting there, but it's not hooked up. And I'm so sad. I've been waiting a long time to have a dishwasher, like my whole adult life. And I've got one, but I can't use it yet. Uh, the pantry's looking all right. I didn't just want to shove everything all over the place and not know where anything was, so I think it's organised to my liking. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, the linen closet. Heck no. I don't want anything to do with that. There's too much stuff going on. There's pillows and blankets and towels everywhere. Um, what else? Oh, this room's really looking alright. Uh, the spare, uh, like the guest bedroom has a bed and it's mostly made. Uh, I don't have a clothesline or a clothes dryer at the moment. I've just got like a little hanging thing to try and get everything dry. Uh, and my cat keeps uh, making a mess of the bed. She keeps like throwing up. Like, not excessively, it's just a little bit, but enough that you want to change the bed. So that has been a good time. I really, really would like my clothes, dry, uh, clothes rack up. Um, it's like a double washing line. Like it's... How do you explain this? I'm just going to put a picture in. That's much easier. Um, and it's going to be against like a brick wall. So hopefully it'll get all my clothes dry nice and fast. I'd really appreciate that. Um, what have I got next to do? Where was I up to? Uh, I guess I should um, contour. Why not? Why not? We're here. Just a little bit. 
You probably can't even tell. And that's okay. Um. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can't tell at all and I shouldn't have done it, but that's okay. I know I've done it. It looks beautiful, even though you can't see it. And I could put more on, but you know, this is the first time I have put this much makeup on for a while now. When was even the last time I filmed? I can't remember. What did I even film? Who knows? Hopefully it's up or it's probably just sitting on my computer. I don't have internet at the moment and I have been using like my phone to do internet on the computer and it's not fun. I don't recommend it. I might not have internet for another month and I am so sad. So goodness knows how I'm doing with uploading. All right. I don't really like this highlighter too much. I, do I have another one somewhere? Oh no, I do. Hang on. Okay. We're just going to put a couple of layers of highlighter on then because you can never have too much highlighter. I don't care what anyone says. It can make my skin look crepey as long as it shines. It's most important. And some more blush because that blush didn't do a whole heap. Like I would be happy to use it like, as a base and put blush on top. Uh, not that I can see that it did anything, but I want to use a product now and it's kind of fun stamping your face. I really don't understand how it came out that colour. It seems so strange. The packaging's like sort of like <laughs> a bit brighter than a dusty pink in real life. It looks like cotton candy on screen, but it's really like more of a dusty pink. But yeah, I just don't understand how you get like hot pink and like and pastel. How does that even work? Oh my gosh, I'm rubbing that into my hand and I really can't see anything at all. <laughs> it's there. Nope, can't see a thing. Anyway, I will still use it. It'll be fine. What have we got? Oh yeah. Real highlighter. Well, better highlighter. So pretty. I've probably had this for too long and should get a new one, but I can't be bothered. It doesn't smell funny or anything, so I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, that is so much better. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to shove some mint stick in my face. Always sounds like fun. Still looks a little bit suspect. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Smushy chocolate. I don't know what to call that. On the inside. Can you focus? It kind of reminds me of icing. But in a good way. So. Fantastic. Recommend. If you find them. Try them. Um, and where was I? Mascara. I should actually probably check for chocolate. Mm, it's everywhere. I'm not sure if that helped a lot. Sort of. Okay. Now we have mascara. Ooh, I appreciate mascaras in the little tube thing. Feels like you can get more mascara out of it than in like a normal plastic thing. Uh, I curled. Oh, can you focus? Thank you. I curled that, that, those eyelashes. Oh my goodness. Oh, my blending looks freaking awful. Hang on. Need to, uh, maybe just a little bit in there. Going to ignore that. Uh, so I curled those lashes. Am I in focus at all? Hello? Find my face. Is that better? I did not kill those ones. Just regular looking wand. Ooh. Kind of smells good. Kind of smells like makeup. Like, I know it is makeup. Like foundation, not mascara. Mascara usually has like a waxy sort of smell. Kind of feels a little bit wet. So I don't know whether it's gonna make this curl drop out. I really hate that. You go to the trouble of curling your lashes and then you put like a new mascara on and it's too wet. It just goes vroom. It's the worst. All right, so far so good. Other side. That is one coat. Can you focus on my face? Okay, that looks a bit better. Ooh, I did not powder that properly. Anyway, not the point. So I don't really uh, mind it 
without curling it even. It looks pretty good for mornings that you can't be bothered. But yeah, absolutely looks better. Oh, curled. But yeah, pretty separated. Didn't drop my curl. Alright, I'll put another coat on. Alright, I found a box of lipstick yesterday and I was excited to open it and remember what was in there. And on the top was, oh my gosh, I dropped it, uh, Revolution Black Lipstick, uh, which, you know, isn't the best coverage, but the packaging's freaking amazing. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't know if I could wear it out. I am so scared of getting it all over my teeth, but I will definitely wear it whilst I unpack boxes today. Uh, thank you so much for sitting with me and listening to me rant about moving. Um, I don't wish moving upon anyone, um, even if it's for the best of reasons, unless you can afford someone to pack up all your stuff and move it and put it all away in your new house whilst you go on like a week vacation and come back to a brand new, fully furnished, fully organized house. That would be the most amazing thing in the universe, but um, I think it would cost a lot of money if I could find that service around here. Money better spent elsewhere, but you know, I can dream. So this is a uh, final look. Uh, the mascara is awesome. The blush isn't that great. Uh, and the eyebrow thing. Um, I really like it. It really matches like my natural hair color, I think. So it's good. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.